Hello everybody, hope that you're doing very well and welcome to this Bitcoin technical analysis where we are going to be quickly going through the charts here, showing you some resistance and support levels to be aware of. So let's go into the charts, looking first at the triangle that we were aware of yesterday. This is obviously showing you the support trend line that you got that bounce off of and also the resistance trend line that you were aware of. Uh, obviously, we can see that we have now broken out of this. And where have we come out to? You obviously look for the top of that triangle. So you obviously had that key resistance, um, you know, being the top of the triangle, as you can see when you zoom in a little bit here. You can see the consolidation now that is happening off of that uh, trend line. I would like to expand upon, obviously, the strength of this move that we saw. <laughs> you, you, we're basically trading the stock market <laughs> because, as we all know, the, the move down yesterday was pivotal. Uh, you know, that move down that you saw on Bitcoin yesterday was pivotal of the stock market falling down like it did. But then the recovery of the stock market continued very strong right up to its close. OK, so right up to its close, ending right at the higher the bounce. So that's a strong close when you're obviously under context of this bullish swing failure pan so you really did take those lows and then you got a very bullish close on you know on friday monday's a new day monday can open red but the friday close was very bullish and what we can say is that obviously has aided bitcoin well in my opinion that absolutely aided bitcoin getting the the strength of this move okay with the bullish stock market friday close uh bullish in the context of the swing failure pan uh obviously bitcoin we're aware of the uh 10,900 resistance level and uh, 10,925 being that secondary resistance level. What we can see, what happened on Bitcoin, obviously it had its first bounce to the point of control. Uh, it took a little bit of time to get through that. You actually came back down for a higher low and then you broke through the level, made your way up to that 10,925 level and you obviously pulled back to then back test the resistance 10,900 as support you got a move up during the night. This is obviously four to, you know, two, three, four a.m. I'm obviously asleep during this period. What we've done is we come back down during this morning. Again, I was not trading during this period, but it looks like we have come down and back tested the really important resistance 10,900 as support that is held. And we have obviously got a bounce out of this triangle to the top of the triangle. OK, so that's pretty looks pretty technical at the moment. Uh, I'm not actually trading this at the moment, but just so you're aware, <laughs> I'm off to the football very shortly. Uh, what we have now is still obviously building your higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. And uh, well, searching now currently off of the resistance, uh, $11,100. Uh, okay, kind of building this almost symmetrical-esque triangle that you can envision to be put in here. Okay, more probably something along these sort of lines where it's going to come down once more, come up once more, and then you'll have something along these lines. Oops. Just trying to do this quick. You'll have something along this line is what I would envision. OK, search down once more for the lows, back up for the highs, back up for the lows and then look for a bigger breakout of this. Obviously, it can break back to the downside. Uh, so if it breaks to the downside, I think you've got to be looking then 11K being a back test of the triangle. Or if it obviously breaks to the upside, well, the level that we are very much aware of is 11,500 being this resistance. OK, da la li la li la li la. There we go, being that resistance, and that's obviously coming in at around 11,500. What I did like, I must admit, on the triangle uh, move that we had down yesterday was the fact that you bounced off that CCW uh, really, really nice in the end. OK, so obviously the low to that high and the trend line was obviously there. So you had the trend line support. So trend line support, very nice indeed. And then you also had here coming in the CCW. So you can see how from the lows to the highs, you come down, you bounce off your first fib, obviously put in a lower high. Uh, the stock market opening week, Bitcoin following, you saw you move down into the value. Okay, and in the end, obviously, you did get the bounce off the, you know, the, the low of the triangle, off of your fibs, made your way up to take profit one, and then you make up your way to take profit two. Obviously, the key level there was being 10,900. And for me, anyway, 10,925, you cleared that and it was, you know, you know, you've got to say the probabilities were more likely that you were at least going to be testing 11K. Obviously, you've got through that now. So hunky dory. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's that's what I've been tracking, what you can also be aware of. And um, yeah, I think some key support and resistances for the rest of the day are going to be. Uh, well, really, you've got that 11,100 still. That is obviously the higher the triangle. Uh, then the, tr the, t the high of this resistance trend line coming in around 11,500 and obviously the back test of the triangle coming in around uh, $10,990. If you come back into this triangle, obviously that's a bit more bearish, but you're then a very big fake out. Um, but, you know, take it level by level. <laughs> so that's still coming in support 10, 9, 
10 9 90 you don't really want to see that lost if you see that lost and obviously you're going to search down once more for those ccw levels um so yeah that was just a quick update that i wanted to give you here uh i'm not actually trading this i'm going to be i'm going to be off to the football i'm an arsenal fan and we have we have some fellow arsenal fans in in the group i like <laughs> shout out to Wimmy. <laughs> we love arsenal uh so we're against the hammers tonight i'm going to go and enjoy that um but for, for you for you guys and girls that love to trade on the weekends then yeah there's hopefully this analysis has helped you uh you know some levels to be aware of on what to look for uh, that's what I'd be looking for if, if I wanted to stay around and trade this. But I'm going to be heading out. Uh, I'll upload this. I might attach it on a video I made last uh, yesterday for the members. Uh, it was pretty insightful, I think. Um, but yeah, I'll upload this now and uh, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow for the, for the live stream. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. Cheers. Hello, good afternoon everybody. Hope that you are well and welcome to this quick live stream update that I've got for you. Uh, middle of the day, trading this uh, pretty well today. So um, there were a few questions that come in and I thought, you know what, let's, let's quickly answer them. So um, yeah, to start with, uh, the questions were, let's go through them. From Neo, he was obviously asking about the tick sizes on the new template and a bearish butterfly. So I'll do that first. Uh, let's start with that. So his butterfly that he posted in here, um, is this valid? So let's just load this up. I'm not trading off this butterfly, but I can still check it. So he's looking X, A, B, C, D. Um, first of all, I would always start at the lowest pivot here. Uh, so he's gone to round 786 more or less back up to 886 more or less and expecting uh well down downwards movement i mean pff, technically one could say this is this is uh valid okay and obviously your invalidation is above the a i mean in terms of the fibs in, in terms of the time yes it's absolutely valid and so if you're trading off of that you'd be looking for invalidation above the high and obviously your targets i mean yeah technically it's a valid trade setup, uh, to be fair. So that was question number one. And is that a valid? I mean, it's possible. I'm not trading it, but uh, nevertheless, <laughs> it's possible. Um, and the next question that I had off of him was about the tick sizes on the template. Uh, so obviously what I'm doing here is using four tick sizes for the actual data in the chart. So those were the two questions that I had. And the other question was uh, just asking to give my opinion on the chart quickly. Um, so, yeah, my opinion on the chart is, uh, well, we've still got the bullish market structure and we just come down to the really, really, really nice. Uh, obviously, when we're looking at our fibs, as, you, as I showed you yesterday, we are looking for that first fib off of the CCW setup uh, when you're in a high momentum market. So we're moving up here today. We're getting our pullback off of the 11K level. Okay, and we're coming into a resistance, into support, into our first Fibonacci level. Uh, obviously, I was in a long from this morning. I have hit my take profit one on that trade. And uh, from that take profit, we're getting a, a pullback here. But uh, this pullback is absolutely fine. Okay, I'm not worried about this. Okay, you can see that this pullback was because of people like myself taking profits. So you were seeing net longs close out. Obviously, you are still seeing shorts are aggressive. No, the open interest is continuing to rise on this on this rise. Primarily, you can see that the shorts getting very aggressive. Better take that for what you will. Uh, I'm not bothered by this at the moment until what well, un unless we lose support. Then obviously, you know, I'll close out the long. But while the long while the support holds, you know, I just have to keep on trading with this trend, which is up at the moment. And um, yeah, I think I ca taught you through everything that I wanted to talk you through. The tick size is about the marker setting in the daily point. Of oh right, yeah, no, that's all, sorry, that's always on one tick. That's that for me is always one tick for those marker settings. Sorry, I was thought you were on about something else. Yeah, that's always one tick. Are you keeping a close eye on the SPX today? Yes, <laughs> I always keep a close eye on the SPX. On the SPX. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm always looking at that. So <laughs> my answer is yes. Uh, DXY also remains just absolutely sideways. See, so this is still holding the middle of that channel. That channel, what, this channel I gave you, what, I don't know, like a week or two ago? Like this channel has just been so perfect indeed. Uh, and it's still in play. It's still in play. So well respected. It's absolutely unbelievable. Middle of the channel, back down. Obviously, good did get that fake out of the low in the end, but then you reclaim the channel straight up to the top. Middle straight up to the top, and now you're back down in the middle. That 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 
is so so well respected um yeah i gave you that channel about a week ago more than that um yeah so there you go that's my analysis here on bitcoin just a quick update to show you all um yeah that's this i mean i personally think that it's really 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 important to try and get an edge on the market okay so if you are just trading the same way as everybody else on the market it's obviously hard to get an edge so what you need to do is try and find these little strategies that work for you really well as well as recording statistics so let's say you take a hundred trades based off of um the dot two a in a high momentum market uh, when it has confluence with the VWAP. Let's say that you take that trade 100 times. Well, you need to record every time you take that trade uh, with a print screen of the market at a time and then go back later and record, did that win? Did it lose? What was the average move in terms of dollars off of that move? Okay, what was the level it rejected at? Those are a few things I'd record. And then obviously you start to build up statistics of saying, okay, this is a good trade I'm going to take in the future. Or no, this is not a trade that I'm going to take in the future. Another thing that I've been uh, saying is a really good thing to do is build up statistics when it comes to uh, the average high and low. So I will tell you that today the average high and low is actually coming in at uh, $11.8. Okay, that's it off of my 5 million charts uh so that so it's it's useful basically where i'm getting with this is to build up statistics of what's happening in the day and then you can start to build up what's the average in the week and by by knowing what the average you know high and low is what the average time the candle takes to form and the average trade count within each candle that you get you can see how this you are then starting to build up statistics okay if i know obviously you need more than one day of doing this but you know let's say i build this up of over a year and i have a year's worth of data i can then start to extract daily averages weekly averages monthly averages although obviously i wouldn't need a monthly average but you know i can be looking at the daily averages which is extremely useful um and then for example let's say we just we form now a new candle in one minute with five trade counts and it was coming in at you know <laughs> uh ten dollars i can say that's all under average and a big player is participating in the market so just being able to get that really quick heads up you know, it's it's so useful, and obviously, um, you know, you do that by building up your statistics. Uh, but you know, that's how you get an edge on the market. No, not many people put in the extra effort. So when you put in the extra effort, it, it pays off. It just assists you when taking these type of trades. Um, so yeah, those were some of the questions that I received, and uh, I hope that helps. So yeah, overall, I'm still saying um, I'm looking for higher prices here, especially while we ma maintain the order supports. Okay, as you were, I was saying earlier. So there's there, there's an update of um, of this really quickly. No more questions, so I'll wrap it up. Hope you've enjoyed this quick update, and uh, yeah, have a have a good rest of the day. As always, I'll, I'm still going to be in around in the chat all day, and uh, I'll catch you in there. Cheers, everybody. Thank you, and goodbye.